The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey, everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Stitcher, Deezer, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here on the other side of the pond from a wonderful gentleman who is not only a lecturer at a university, but he's also a full-time musician. He keeps things going. He's got um, he's from the area of Turriff, Aberdeenshire, Scotland. So He's uh, on the other side of the pond, we mentioned. And of course, it's um, snowing as well, too. And um, he's also got a couple of songs with a group called The Delirium Trees, Paradise Will Be, and Swimming with the Ghost Angels. We'll talk um, more about that as well, too. And also, finally, we're going to hear, hear their music and what their upcoming plans are. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from Jolly Old Scotland, where they don't make crop. And <laughs> he's just, <laughs> right now, just enjoying himself. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the other side of the pond in beautiful Scotland. From the Delirium Trees, Alexander Jarvie. Alexander, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, good evening from Scotland to you, Mick. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic. You come in very loud and clear, and I can hear you perfect, just like we're talking on the other side of the pond here. Perfect, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Most no of problem. Have, What's that? Heard, would, most of your listeners would know me, or the people that know of the Delirium Trees would call me Drew Jarvie. So Drew just- Jarvie, okay, got it. Drew Jarvie, okay. So we'll just make note of that here, Drew, so we'll do that here. And, of course, you know, basically you've been at the Luring Trees for quite some time, and not only you're a full-time musician with them, you also lecture at the university, and you live in Scotland pretty much all your life. You have a couple of songs out. And before we get into all that, uh, tell us how I got started. Uh, well, the... The Delirium Trees, they started in uh, the year 2001, and Paradise will be in Swimming with the Ghost Angels are the two albums which are out. And uh, but musically, I started when I was about six years old. My father stuck a trumpet to my mouth, and uh, <laughs> it has never left. Uh, I played for local brass bands. I went to, to study at university in Aberdeen in piano and trumpet, got a couple of degrees in them. 
played for the National Brass Band, went to play for lots of, uh, in the 1980s and early 1990s in Scotland, there's a lot of rock bands come through, wet, 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 big country, Texas, Travis, Simple Minds to a degree. And um, so everybody was playing for, for bands and I was playing for one called Perfect Stranger, but eventually we kind of split and then uh, I went to work in the oil industry and then I became ill and after becoming ill, I, I went back to doing what I should have done in the first place and that was uh, being a full-time musician and that's where uh, I started doing the teaching and doing a lot of the session and doing the lectures at uni here in Aberdeen and uh, then the, the delirium trees came when a few musicians met and uh, I'm the only one that stayed the course, so, but there's, there's people come and go as they please, but we, we do exist as a band and occasionally we do play live, so it's all good and we've got plans for a, a summer EP coming up. So That was amazing too, and what's the one moment that influenced you into uh, getting into music and where you are today? What's the one precise moment? Uh, I think I would say around about the year 1970, my dad sticking a corn to my mouth or a trumpet to my mouth, that's... Uh, was the big thing that caught me going. Mm. Okay, well, that's a pretty good way to start, too. It's like, I wish my parents did that, too. And, um, you know, some kids would say, stick a trumpet to your mouth. It's like, they'll just push it away. But at least it's stuck with it, which is good. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> and, and of course, among the, among the groups you mentioned as well, too, like Simple Minds, Big Country, and all the other bands, especially Big Country being very big in Scotland. One of my favorites being big in in a big country back in the 80s. What are some other favorite artists and uh, singers growing up? Uh, well, so Simple Minds are my favorite band, but a, a band, another Scottish band I really liked were Nazareth, who were pretty big here in the 70s and 80s. I think were pretty big in the States for a while. And uh, I was lucky enough to, to play a few gigs for them as well. Uh, other bands I liked, Electric Light Orchestra, they were very influential. I liked from Cross Your Way, Super Tramp were very... Influential, quite a lot of the punk stuff over here. I liked a lot of the Clash, the Pistols, um, just a good mix match of stuff, really. So, and presently, I quite like, or I do like, Empire of the Sun from Australia, the, the Scottish bands. I love Glass Vegas. Um, so it's it's all pretty varied. It, it sounds very varied too. And how do you describe your uh, sound with the Delirium Trees? Uh, I would say we're, we're, we're definitely alternative rock, and uh, I would say we're electronica as well, because the U album, the Swimming with Ghosts, Angels, is uh, six, you would say, rock tracks, and five extended instrumentals showing an electronica side. And that, we did that because people asked for it, so we did it. Mm, that is amazing, too. I'll talk about your couple albums as well, too, in just a minute. You're listening to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Drew Jarvie from the Delirium Trees. We talked about... Um, some, some of his uh, upbringing in music and also being with the Delirium Trees, a little bit of history of it. Also lecture at um, you know, one of the universities as well, too, in Scotland. And let's talk about um, your al albums as well, too. Paradise Will Be and Swimming with the Ghost Angels. And um, tell us more about those albums in depth and um, what influenced you to uh, write some of the lyrics to those uh, songs as well. Yeah, Paradise Will Be is, is an album of kind of, well, it's nine rock songs, one instrumental. Climbing Walls is like a a kind of coda to the album. The rest kind of deal with the politics of the situation here in Scotland just now. Also, it deals with some some of my health issues. I'd, I'd been quite severely ill. I had a kidney transplant about six years Ooh. ago. And uh, and when that happens, you, 
you go, uh, I certainly went through a certain amount of depression and stuff. So some of the songs, one of the lead songs on the album called Here Comes the Day is a song about overcoming some of these problems and coming out the other side. Others are just dealing with the, the political situation and some of the leaders we've certainly caught in Britain are, are best described as useless. That's optimistic. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, it's but and some of it is just dealing with can everyday life swimming with the ghost angels on the other hand is uh, once again got kind of real life and politics mixed in the have nuts uh, the, the people who maybe deserve a better chance that there's optimism in the album as well the song called Higher Ground is all about can face in a brave new world after somebody's been ill, not necessarily me, but, but uh, the title track is based on a conversation between two people who had kidney transplants, and one of them being me, and one of them being a good friend who had a kidney transplant, and it's basically the conversation between him and me, and two people who were musicians just firing the questions, and I just happened to write down what I remembered of it and just stuck it to music. Um, the rest of the album, the instrumentals, do Angels Dream? People have been asking for that to be done for a long time, an extended version. So that was done. Uh, one Day, a very old song as well. I wrote that when I was about eight or nine. I think I still have the piano score lying about somewhere. And a couple of radio stations in Scotland asked for extended versions of that. So their wish was my command. So that happened. And the others... Two of them were jingles, which were originally 30 seconds, but they got the extended treatment as well. They, well these were called the Sound of 633 and Gliding. They were both extended to over six minutes. And the last of instrumentals, Fighting the Gods, which was quite an old song, I just took it and remixed it and, uh, and put that on the album as well. So it's half kind of rock album and uh, what somebody said the other day, you know, classical as well. So it, so I, I think it's a very good mix. I, I'm, I, the next album won't be like this album, but uh, but I like it. So I hope, and most people seem to have liked it. It's won a few awards, so I'm quite happy with that. So it's uh, so it's doing okay. Not nice. You talk about those awards as well, too. What awards did you win out of that album? Uh, for uh, for uh, am I allowed to say the radio stations? Uh, yes, you talk about the awards at one as well, too. It sounds amazing, garnering some awards. Well, we won Best Alternative Band uh, in ISR down in Los Angeles. We won Swimming with the Ghost Angels itself, won the 2020 Indies Song of the Year. And uh, on Cowboy Joe, we won the Most Influential Band. So so it's, it's really done quite well. Paradise Will Be was nominated for Scottish Album of the Year when it came out. But it ran straight up against Simple Minds and their new albums. <laughs> <laughs> or get Simple Minds to play with you, too. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it, uh, the new album has been nominated for Scottish Album of the Year this year as well. So, Oh, so that's that, very oh, that's very nice. Glad to hear that. And you talk about having um another EP, EP coming out. And did you say it's going to be um different from your uh, first two albums? And how, how in a way, it's going to be different? The, the the next album will, will be different. It'll be probably slightly heavier, maybe poppier, heavier. But I, I will stick out an EP this summer. That'll be lighter. That'll be just hopefully probably two or three nice pop songs and maybe one heavier song. And just uh, basically we've got such a huge catalogue of songs. We need to start putting them out either direct onto Spotify or throw some onto free downloads and SoundCloud and stuff like that just, just to get them out. Mm-hmm. Quite I write the songs for the Delirium Trees, and quite literally, I have thousands of songs. That, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but that awesome we've recorded quite a lot of them, so we just need to get them out. Mm-hmm. That'll keep you occupied as well, too. And um, we'll talk about more about your albums a little bit, some of the influences, what's coming up. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios, 
Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1 800 303 3960. That's 1 800 303 3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with Drew Jervy, Jervy from the Delirium Trees from Scotland talking about his um, two releases and winning a couple of awards and also his upcoming EP as well, too. And, of course, you know, talking about, um, you know, going back to your health issues and whatever else, you know, that influenced a couple of your albums. Um, and you complained, too, about the um, health system in Scotland. And um, what is the situation about that and about the health care and what could be corrected? You know, especially it's being compared much, to the rest of healthcare in the United States. <laughs> it's not so much a health care. I think the Scottish government do a good job. Uh, I, I don't want to go too political, but, but I, I think they have their hands tied behind their backs by the government in Westminster, and they can't get a lot of things done because basically they're not allowed to do them. Mm -hmm. But I have no complaints about the health system in Scotland. They, they saved me and a lot of my friends, so that's it's fine. It, uh, but it's like everything else, the same in the States, lots of things could be improved. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, you talked about the um, the Scottish government as well, too. And um, in, in a way, were you, were you guys affected by the recent um, Brexit uh, situation in England as well? And uh, well, how much the impact? Well, England voted for Brexit. Scotland voted overwhelmingly against Brexit. Scotland is, uh, is I wouldn't say dependent, but if a lot of Scotland is remote, as you know, the Western Isles are almost not wholly dependent, but a lot of the trade there, say in, 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 the, in seafood, uh, the local industries and knitwear and stuff like that, they're, they're a lot of them are in the roads and infrastructure are funded by the European Union. So w when you look at it from the Northern Isles to the Western Isles to large parts of the Highlands, it's a complete disaster Brexit. Mm. Um, and it's, it's, I always would say I voted to remain in Europe as well. So it's, it's, it, it seems to me common sense to keep your nearest trading partners can ask mm. trading partners because, uh, but we'll have to see where it leads now. So it's done. And, but, but there'll, there'll be probably another referendum for independence in Scotland. So we'll see how that goes as well. Okay. And of course, you can keep this up to date. We'll be looking for that as well, too. You also talked about political and environmental issues like climate change, marine pollution, and um, political mess worldwide. You talk about some of that, but um, how about some of the environmental issues and uh, climate change and the marine pollution that's going on in Scotland? You wrote, you wrote some of that in your songs as well, too. Yes, indeed. And it. it annoy, it, it really does annoy me. And it's just a simple little thing. I work in Aberdeen. And there's a brand new ring road bypassing Aberdeen. It should have been, when the height of oil was going on, it should have happened then. But fortunately, it's here now. And it saves quite a distance for people living north of Aberdeen, like I do, travelling south towards Glasgow or Edinburgh, Dundee. And they put up signs saying, can the, the local can, uh, refuge men, the garbage disposal people, picked up 300 bags of rubbish by People just throw in takeaways at the side of the road. Can the oh my gosh, they buy, they buy their fish and chips or the Chinese or Indian takeaway, but do the difficult thing, put it back in the bag, and then heave it out the window. I I, I cannot get my head round that, and uh, I think can you think of amount of animals that are sniffing about that or crawling into Coca Cola tins or or iron brew tins that we have here, and it, that seems pointless. And it, or if you go down to the local beach and you see litter strewing everywhere can it, that is can, why can't people just do the simple thing and throw it in a bucket it just annoys me mm -hmm. and, and of course that's the one thing we in america we don't do is um throw garbage out the window you see someone do it like that it's like that person get arrested and it's like yeah. that's 
you know, that was like just long time ago. And of course, just want to clarify once again in your um, upcoming EP, will there be any more of the um, the issues you guys are facing or will there be like um, leading away from that or will there be more of an uh, emphasis or just wanted to uh, find out if you're going to be continuing that or just kind of just level off a little bit? I think we'll probably level off a bit with the EP. Um, I did enough ranting and raving on the last album. <laughs> 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 uh, but no, I think we'll... It's, it, it's a balance. You've got, it doesn't matter where you are a band, you've got to speak about the situation you're in at that time. And uh, and that's what we do, can it? But uh, for the next one, I think we'll be quite happy little songs and uh, and we'll be nice, kind of like try to think what they're going to be like. One Summer Dream by ELO, that type of kind of happy, floaty thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, or We Are the People by Emperor of the Sun. It, it, won't, be, it won't be anything like uh, Higher Ground from uh, the last album. It won't, be, it won't be big, overpowering sounds. Mm-hmm. And we're definitely looking forward to that as well, too. And um, any plans for an upcoming tour in 2020? Uh, we we'll certainly would be uh, some dates later in the year, but there's something planned for Glasgow in October and Edinburgh. I think we're heading south of the border to Newcastle and Manchester as well, but we'll get all the dates of them put up on our various pages. Obviously, we'll get at least one of them videoed, and uh, and we'll, we'll stick the tracks up in the, the YouTube channel and the various other places we stick stuff. So mm-hmm. there should be something much later in the year. That'd be great. And any plans of coming to the U.S.? Well, I might come across and, and come and speak to you. <laughs> oh, oh, that, oh, that'd be great! You know, just um, just just bring something warm, maybe bring a little beer, ale, or something, and we'll uh, offer you a little something too. And of course, our American favorite is pizza, and you can uh, bring what bring what you like, and we can just share. We'll do that. So <laughs> I, think, I, think I could do better. I think I think uh, some some of the local whiskey would probably do you more good. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> and you can have some of ours too. We're surrounded in distilleries here. That is amazing. And, of course, we'll talk more about that. We do get in whiskey as well, too. And just a couple more things. Drew, you've been fantastic. Love to have you back on. And um, and just a couple of things here. Who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Biggest influence musically? Um, I would say Simple Minds. Okay. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Practice. Just stick in. Don't give up. Uh, just get get yourself if if you can if you if you're lucky enough to have an instrument, don't overdo the practice. Just practice. Uh, it's not the length or quantity of practice you do; it's quality of practice you do. It counts. It's I teach my pupils anyway, and it seems to do them okay. So that would be my advice. Mm, that's fantastic. And Drew, just want to say a big thank you for your time. We'd like to have you back on again soon. Once again, Drew Jarvie from the Delirium Trees here on the Mike Wagner Show, talking about uh, music, their upcoming albums, and everything else. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, where can people purchase or listen to your music? Uh, people can contact us on Facebook. At, uh, just type in Delirium Trees. Same for the uh, on Twitter, it's Delirium65. We are on Instagram. We're on Reverb Nation, YouTube, uh, N1M, SoundCloud, um, and if there's, if there's more, there's more. <laughs> you, can get our, you can get our music on Amazon, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, Burnham CD, which is uh, who distributes our stuff, uh, AMG Music, which is my company. You can contact us through our website, which is www.videliriumtrees.com. Fantastic, Drew. Just want to say a big thank you for your time once again. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having again soon. And do us a favor, keep us up to date, and uh, keep warm in Scotland and uh, have a whiskey on me. Looking forward to having again soon. Thank you very much. I look forward to being back on the show. And I will most certainly have a whiskey on your behalf. Slanja. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 